Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 23. And in this lesson, students are gonna be solving a whole bunch of different word problems uh, involving area. I mean, uh, involving perimeter, although area might show up. I don't know. Let's see. Um, the idea of parents and teachers is to give students a nice opportunity to practice keeping in mind what is perimeter, what does it mean, how does it relate to area. So this is a great formative assessment opportunity to see how much your students really do remember all of all the stuff that you've been teaching them in the previous lessons. So let's get started. So here we have Judith, and Judith uses a craft sticks to make two 24-inch by 12-inch rectangles. What is the total perimeter of the two rectangles? Now, I thought I would share with you uh, this one because it's kind of interesting. So she uses craft sticks to make two 24-inch by 12-inch rectangles. So the idea is here is one rectangle that she built. And I'm specifically trying to show you the craft sticks, right? These are sticks. So this is 12 and this is 24 because it's 12 plus 12 is 24, right? So here is one rectangle. Now it says that she uh, made two of them. So now we've got two of them. But the idea is, it says, what is the total perimeter of these two rectangles? Well, this is a little iffy because are they talking about like one rectangle is way over here and another rectangle is way over here and we're supposed to find this perimeter and this perimeter and add them together? Or are they talking about these two rectangles have been made such that they're going to be together like this? in which case we're gonna have a different answer because these two sides right here, this length right here, is not counted as part of the perimeter. So parents and teachers, um, make sure you listen to your students. Did they interpret this problem to look like this? Or did they interpret the problem to look like this? And then and then listen to their answer and, and grade them or talk have a nice math conversation based on how they understood the question. Uh, because that's totally mathematically fair for this question to be interpreted like this or interpreted like this, and you would get two totally different answer, answers. Parents and teachers, your job is to make sure your students understand perimeter in both cases, all right? So in this case, in the separated case, we would have 12 plus 24, like that, and so that's 36, and then we'd have to times by two because we'd have another 36 over here. So the perimeter is equal to two times 12 plus 24, which is two times 36, which is equal to 72, but that's the perimeter of one rectangle. This perimeter is also 72 inches. And so we would add those together to get 144 inches as our total perimeter. That's one way of, of thinking about this problem. So this is a fun one. It says an architect draws a square and a rectangle. So here's our square. Here's our rectangle to represent a house that has a garage. What is the total perimeter of the house with its attached garage? So basically what they're asking is they are asking for us to identify, let's see, I'm gonna use, oh, let's do uh, highlight. Okay, so basically they want us to find this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. So they, they want us to find the distance around this house. Okay, so most of these lengths are pretty straightforward. Um, we know that this is 30, and it's a square. So if this is 30, that means 
this is 30 and this is 30. Since this length right here is 55, that tells us that oops, this length right here is also 55. And then this length right here, that's pretty straightforward, that's 40. So we have most of our lengths taken care of. 55 plus 40 plus 55 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. But we have this missing length right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so this length right here, the right there is missing. So what is that length? Well, that's pretty easy. We know this entire length right here, and I'll do it in red. This entire length right here is 40, but we know, and I'll do it in blue, we know that this part right here is 30, so that means this missing piece down here has to be 10. So now we have all of the lengths that we need to add to find the perimeter of this whole house. We're going to start at the 10 and let's go clockwise. So we need to add 10 plus 55 plus 40 plus another 55 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. So that's what we have to do is add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lengths. Let's make sure we have them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, there's our 7 lengths. And I'm going to see some little, um, well, let's just add. Let's just do the traditional way of adding. So we're going to add our 1s together, and we see 0 plus 5 plus 0, 5, 0, 0, 0. So that's 10. So there's a, there's a 0, carry the 1. And now we need to add all of our 10s. So let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. So that's 250 is our answer. So that's 250 feet. So the perimeter of this whole house is 250 feet. And the last one we're going to do for this video, it says that Manny draws three regular pentagons. So I'm going to highlight that because that's an important phrase. Three regular pentagons to create the shape shown below. The perimeter of one pentagon is 45 inches. So that's kind of important too. So let's highlight that. So one pentagon is 45 inches, uh, the perimeter. So what is the perimeter of Manny's new shape? So the idea is we know because we're told this red part right here, three regular pentagons. So this, what that means is each of these pentagons, one, two, three, four, five, each side of that pentagon is the same length. And if the perimeter is 45 inches, 45 divided by 9, I'm sorry, divided by 5 equals 9. So that tells us each length on this regular pentagon is 9 inches. Each side is 9 inches, all right? And so that means if we were to zoom in right here, each one of these lengths is 9. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So if we wanted to find the perimeter of this entire figure, we are going to have to add, let's see, 9, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 nines. Well, adding up 11 nines is actually pretty darn easy because all we have to do is 11 times 9 gives us 99. So the perimeter of this figure is 99 inches. 
The important thing to know is we do not need to add these lengths because they're not part of the perimeter. They're part of the interior of the figure. And that wraps up a fun one. That was, let's see, third grade, module seven, lesson 23. We are solving a variety of word problems about perimeter.